una persona comprometida con la vida de los animales. Veamos el clip, la imagen número 10 de lo que dijo Felipe el día de hoy. El Salvador tiene un presidente que sí sabe cuidar al pueblo. Él no espera, actúa. Lo vuelvo a repetir. El Salvador tiene un presidente que sabe cuidar al pueblo. Él no espera, actúa. Esa es una cultura de prevención que no existió en los 10 años del FMLN y que no existió en los 20 años de Alemania. Ya ha existido, porque yo creo que a TCS le interesa más que pasen las desgracias a ver si así ven los programas de ellos para ver por qué logran colocar la publicidad. Lo que se merece tener y no se merece tener. Gracias. Tenemos un gobierno que abrió a tiempo las esclusas coordinadamente de las presas para ir desaguando poco a poco con una exactitud milimétrica a efecto de un gobierno actuando, de un gobierno evacuando, de un gobierno asistiendo. un gobierno movilizado con fobial, con obras públicas, con salud pública. No ha habido un caso COVID en los albergues. Porque este gobierno actúa. Porque que no espera, que actúa. Y he visto el llanto de mis hermanos hondureños. Llegamos de Nicaragua. Y estamos viendo el llanto de Un pueblo con convicción y tenemos un gobierno que nos respalda. Este segmento es el que viene. Hoy se Así que, el periodista salvadoreño. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. <coughs> no, let me see. Hello. How are you? No, very good, very good. You're watching the news. Yes, I was watching the news. What is that? <laughs> How was your day? Mm, fine. Por la mañana tuve una entrevista de trabajo. Yo digo que me fue bien. Ahorita estoy trabajando en la plataforma. Ah, ok, ok. Pero sí ha llovido bastante para pasar dormido todo el día. ¿Ah, sí? ¿Tú sí. Estás, ¿Dónde estás tú? En Soyapán. Mm, mira, aquí casi no ha llovido. Mm, en el centro sí llovió bastante. Oh, interesante. ¿Y usted dónde vive? En Lourdes. Mm. Sí, aquí casi nada, solo un ratito, un poquito. No, aquí sí ha llovido algo. Pero no estás en zona muy peligrosa. Gracias a Dios, no. Aquí no estoy como un lugar donde haya, vaya a tener inundación o derrumbe o algo así. Oh.
Y ahí en Santa Lucía siempre se inunda. ¿no? Sí, siempre. También como hay un barranquito allí, siempre hay derrumbe o deslave, no sé cómo se llama. Mm. Siempre salen las noticias que hay problemas ahí. ¿Y dónde fuiste a entrevista? A Campos Peñate. ¿Y eso de qué es? Es una empresa de publicidad. De publicidad y diseño. Este. Uh -huh. Vaya, los las las... Los anuncios así que se ve cuando uno va por la calle, en las ah, pasarelas. Sí, 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 ya recuerdo. Las vallas publicitarias hacen ellos, ¿verdad? Ajá, eso. Ok. Good evening. Good, Good evening. evening. Good evening. Okay, I'm ready. Good evening. Good evening, Andrea. Good evening. Good evening, William. And Daniel. And Teresa. Karen, good evening too. Well, she's coming, Edwin. Okay, we're going to start. Okay, how are you doing with the platform? William? ¿Cómo va con la plataforma? Good. Good. Season four right now. Ah, okay. Good. María Teresa, como que es, dijo que ya le, ya le iba terminando, ¿no? Hasta las 5. ¿O no? ¿No fuiste tú? Uh, sí, ahorita estoy en el examen final. ¡Wow! <risa> muy bien, muy bien. Daniel, Ernesto, ¿cómo vas? Mire, aquí tengo dos. Que se me llaman igual que personas en mi casa. Bien, ¿por dónde vas? Pues fíjese que ahorita sí estoy un poco atrasado, no he podido 
Mm. Avanzarlo de esta semana, pero sí ya el sábado me pongo al día. Vaya, vaya, pues, pues no estás tan bien que digamos. Sí, <risa> es que he estado bueno. un poco ocupado, pero, pero sí, el, ya destiné el mañana para trabajar toda la plataforma. ¿Qué haces a las 2 de la mañana? <risa> <risa> ok, good. Eh, Andrea, ¿cómo vas? Eh, creo que bien, voy por la lección, por la sección 3 en uh -huh. el examen. Ok, el examen. Karen, ¿cómo vas? For the section number 3, teacher. Ok, good. Uh, <clears throat> Elwin. Hello, teacher, good night. Ah, good evening, good evening. Good evening, excuse me, good mm -hmm. evening. Eh, sí, yo, yo voy por la sección 3 y este, creo que en la sección 2 hay una parte que es list, listen, mm -hmm. de escuchar. Sí. Esa parte no, 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 la, no la he hecho todavía, este, pero sí siento que está un poco difícil, ¿verdad? Porque es de, es de escuchar. Tanto, no tanto, sí, pero bien, pero, dale, hay pero, que hacerlo. Pero tengo una, una pregunta. Dime. Este, el, el examen que, bueno, el que está después de la sección 3, el examen, uh -huh. este, ¿hasta cuándo tenemos para, para, para hacerlo, el examen? Yo creo que mañana, ¿verdad? Mañana. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Okay. Pero, sí. ok. Ana María, ¿cómo vas? Good evening, teacher. Eh, I finished section 3, eh, meter exam. Ok, perfect, very good. Karina. Hi, teacher, good evening. Good evening. I finished. Section 3 and medial exam. Ok, midterm, this midterm. Ok, very good, excellent. And Stephanie? Stephanie. Stephanie, ok, there she is. Hello, teacher. Ajá, uh -huh. ¿cómo vas con la plataforma? Uh, But I am bad in the platform. Uh, I am for the section one finish. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Rafael. ¿Qué pasó, Stephanie? Sorry. <laughs> uh, this week, <laughs> uh, complete the the. The other sections, yeah. <laughs> and, and I I have on time. <laughs> okay, please, please. Okay, ahí desvelate un poquito hoy. Okay, and Rafael, ¿cómo vas con la plataforma? Finish. Excellent. Okay, good, very good. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it is important, okay, for, for your evaluation, the platform is important. Actually, if some exercise you don't like the grade, no le gusta la nota que se sacaron, vuelvan a hacer, eso lo pueden volver a hacer. Okay, la idea es repetir, es, es, es aprender, uh, hasta que saquen una buena nota, ¿no? Eso es aprender. Había una sección, teacher, que uh -huh. me costó mucho. Tuve que pedir ayuda de una persona que ya pudiese bastante el idioma. Uh -huh. Porque eh, eh, las personas que... Era de audio y las personas que hablan, eh, hablaban muy rápido que no le entendía. Ah, okay. Entonces tuve que pedir ayuda. Correcto, teacher. Yo, yo igual, oh. este, el apoyo porque eh, cuesta... No... no. No sé si ellos lo hablan rápido o quizás 
no, no se les entiende tanto. Pues ha, hablan, hablan normal, ¿verdad? E incluso los audios para estos niveles no son tan rápidos, ¿verdad? Pero hay que ir a, educando el oído, eso se trata. Entonces, en realidad solamente fue ese. Es un ejercicio donde atenen, hablan de horas. Creo que lo, lo estuvimos viendo en, el, en una ajá. de las reuniones. Pero solamente es ese audio. Ajá. Entonces, eh, ok. Hay que escucharlo eh, y, y aunque ya lo, ya lo hayan hecho, escúchenlo muchas veces, muchas veces hasta que se lo aprendan de memoria. Porque eso significa que ya les queda grabado aquí, ¿verdad? Y ya cuando vuelvan a escuchar esos términos, esas palabras, ya más fácil eh, su cerebro las identifica. Ok. Ok. En you, Luciano, ¿cómo vas con la plataforma? ¿Por dónde vas? Eh, estaba en ese del, del audio que están comentando. Ah. De hecho, lo, lo escuché varias veces, pero eh, en una todavía no, no, como que no, todavía no, no atino el el oído ahí. Bueno, bueno. Pero sí, sí me ha tocado como repetirlo, irlo como deteniendo para asimilar. ¿Sí? Eso, eso, uh -huh. es, eso es. Y Sergio, ¿cómo vas? Hola. Este, yo este, solamente he terminado la, la sección 1. Uy, pónganle, píquenle, píquenle, porque mañana tenemos que tener terminado la 3. Sí, pues nos vamos a poner al día ahí. ¿eh? Sí, sí, sí. Y ahí está el, el examencito de medio curso, ¿verdad? De la mitad del módulo, el midterm. ¿Ok? Ok, very good. Well, it's time to work. Uh, como dice el de la UFC, let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> ok. Uh, let me share the screen with you. screen here and here okay tonight we are going to start with this conversation the title is which one do you prefer which one do you prefer but I'm going to play the video this video uh, so I will mute your microphones for a moment to play the video. So pay attention, please. And later we are going to practice. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to comprehend and use comparative adjectives. Hi everyone, as I told you last class, we will talk about how to express preferences in English as well as to compare. Let's see. Preferences, comparisons with adjectives. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather mm -hmm. one better. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait. Uh, I need to watch the conversation first. What is this? This? No. This is first. First, we need to watch the conversation. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation and will be introduced to comparison with adjectives by expressing preferences. Which one do you prefer? Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Hmm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no. That's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Notice how the girls are talking about their preferences. In the next class, we will study how to express preferences and comparisons. Okay, one more time. One more time, so pay attention. So comparison one more with adjectives time. by expressing preferences. Which one do you prefer? Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. 
Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Hmm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no. That's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Notice how the girls are talking about their preferences. In the next class, we will study how to express preferences and comparisons. Okay. Now we are going to practice. I'm okay. going and we'll be to... introduced to comparison with adjectives by expressing preferences. Which one do you prefer? Okay. Turn on your microphones, please. And I'm going to play the conversation and pause, pause it so you can repeat. We can practice, okay? Okay. Let's see. Look, these jackets are really nice. Repeat. Look, look, these, these jackets are these really, jackets nice. Are really nice. nice. Which one do you prefer? Which one do you prefer? Which one do you prefer? Okay. I like the wool one better. I like the wool one better. I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? The wool one? Why? 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 It looks warmer. It, look, it, it warm, looks warmer. 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 Well, I like the leather one better. Well, well I, like I like the leather one better. better. I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. It's more solid than the wool one. And the wool one. Hmm. There's no price tag. Hmm. hmm. There's, There's no price, price tag. tag. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. How much is this jacket? It's. Excuse, excuse me. Excuse me. How, how much is this much jacket? Is this jacket? $499. Would you, would you like to try it on? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no. That's okay. But thanks anyway. Uh, no. 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 Okay. That's okay. 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 Thanks anyway. 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 You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, very good, very good. So I think we can do it. We can do it better. One more time. Pay attention to the intonation, okay, of the sentences, the intonation of the questions. Um, all the expressions, try to imitate that. The pronunciation of the words, but the intonation of the sentences. Present preferences. Which one do you prefer? Okay, ready? Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? Look. Come on. These jackets are really, are really nice. nice. Which really one nice. do you Look, prefer? These jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? Okay. I like the wool one better. I like the wool one better. I like the wool, I like one, the wool one, better. one better. The wool one? Why? The, the wool one? The wool the one? Wool Why? 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 It looks warmer. It looks warmer. warmer. It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. It's more stylish than the wool one. It's more stylish than the wool one. Hmm. 
There's no price tag. There's no price tag. Excuse me. How much is this jacket? It's excuse me. Excuse me. How much, How much is this jacket? Four hundred and ninety-nine dollars. Would you like to try it on? It's one hundred ninety-nine dollars. Would you like to try it on? 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 Uh, no. That's okay. But thanks anyway. Oh, oh no, 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 that's okay. But thanks anyway. Thanks anyway. Anyway. You're welcome. No. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. welcome. Okay, very good. Now let's notice some expressions here. Okay. She says, I like the wool one better. Uh -huh. These expressions. Better. Better. It looks warmer. Warmer. I like the leather one better. Better. It's more stylish. Uh, let's go more stylish than the wool one. More stylish than the wool one. Okay. So you see, uh, they are comparing the jackets. Uh, they are comparing the jackets. Uh, so uh, Sue prefers the wool, the wool one. Oh, she thinks the wool one is better because it looks warmer. No, Sue prefers the wool one because she thinks it looks warmer. But Anne prefers the leather one. She thinks the leather one is better. She thinks it's more stylish than the wool one. So the leather one is more stylish than the wool one for Anne. Okay, very good. Any question with the conversation? No? Okay, very good. Sure. Now, uh huh. Uh, how do you mean leather? Leather. 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 Leather is the material of the jacket. Okay. What what do you think is leather? Look at this jacket. Uh -huh. What is the material of this jacket? Cuero. Cuero. Cuero, exactly. That is leather. Mm -hmm. Leather. And this one is wool. What is wool? Lana. 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 Okay, lana. Perfect. Why do you think... Uh, she uh, and doesn't try this on. Try it on. What is try it on? When he says, would you like to try it on? What is that? Que si quiere probársela. Aha. Le gustaría probársela? And she says, no. Why? Because it's very expensive. Ah, it's very expensive. It doesn't have price tag. Okay. 
price tag. It doesn't have a, the paper, the little paper with the price, the price tag. Okay, very good. Um, then let's continue with Let's study this topic about uh, preferences. How do you express express preferences? Okay, we are going to talk about comparison to to state to declare your preference. You need to compare things. You need to compare objects or people or places. So you need to compare. Watch this video about preferences. Which one do you like more? I like the leather one more. That one is cheaper than the wool one. This one is nicer than the wool one. The leather is prettier than the wool one. It looks bigger than the wool one. It's more stylish than the wool one. Spelling. Cheap. Cheaper. Nice, nicer, pretty, prettier, big, bigger. To express preferences in English, we may say, I prefer, I like. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. When we want to compare, we use the adjective in its comparative form. We use adjective plus er plus than. Small, smaller than. This dress is smaller than the other one. I recommend for you to study the adjectives in English in its comparative form, so you're able to compare anything you want. I also want you to work with this. Cheap, old, and new. These are adjectives. Find out its comparative form and make comparative sentences using these three adjectives. Write them down in a discussion box. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let me show you here. Here it is. Come on. I want the presentation mode. Okay, there it is. So, the question to ask for preferences is, is this. Now we have different questions. Which one do you prefer? Or which one do you like better? Or which one do you like more? Okay, three different questions we can use to ask for preferences. And how uh, we, we can respond. So, I prefer the leather one. Or I like the leather one better. Or I like the leather one more. Okay. Now, we have comparisons here comparisons here that one is cheaper than the wool one this one is nicer than the wool one the leather jacket is prettier than the wool one it looks bigger than the wool one. It's more stylish than <coughs> the wool one. Okay. So these are adjectives. Cheap, nice, pretty, big. They are adjectives. And 
what is the, these are the comparative form of the, these adjectives. Most of the adjectives, most of the adjectives, if you see, we only have ER. The comparative form for cheap is cheaper. Yeah? We only add ER. But nice. Nice, the last letter is E. So we only have R. So the comparative form for nice is nicer. So adjectives that end in E, we only have R. The comparative for adjectives that end in Y. Okay, like this, pretty, easy. Uh, look, we change the Y for I. Uh, we change the Y for I, uh, Y becomes I, and add E R and R E R. So pretty becomes prettier. Adjectives like big that have this a uh, how can I say this combination consonant vowel consonant consonant okay adjectives que al final tienen esta combinación de consonant vowel vowels are a e i o u vowels so song entonces we have consonant here yeah, big is consonant. I is vowel. And G is consonant. What happened with these adjectives? Well, we are going to double the final consonant and add ER. That is the comparative form. Okay. Any question here, people? No question. It's clear. Mm, yes, teacher. I have a question. In uh -huh. the word, in the word, stylish, not change. Ah, that's different. Okay. Ya vamos ahí. Now, look at this, stylish. Uh -huh. If you observe, all these adjectives are one syllable adjectives, except pretty. But the others are one syllable. Cheap, one syllable. Nice, in English is one syllable, nice. Big, one syllable. Okay. And uh, then the other adjectives like stylish, stylish has two syllables. Or adjectives like uh, intelligent. Intelligent, four syllables. Or uh, difficult, difficult, three syllables. So the comparative for these adjectives is more intelligent or less intelligent, 
Okay. More intelligent. Y siempre, vean, we always use than. More intelligent than or less intelligent than. Yeah. Difficult. More difficult or less difficult. More difficult, less difficult. Okay. And that way, more adjectives like um, expensive. More expensive or less expensive. Yeah, beautiful. More beautiful or less beautiful. That is the comparative form for these adjectives. Okay, like intelligent, difficult, expensive, beautiful. Okay. Uh -huh. Una question? consulta. Dígame. Small, big, eh, solo agrego eh, ER. ¿Y es small? Small. A ver. More small o less no. small. Small is one syllable. Small. Yeah. Solo agrego la R. Exacto. Smaller. No termina en consonante, vocal consonante. No. Small termina en A-L-L. -L. Conso vowel, consonant, consonant. No aplica el duplica. Ya no, además ya es doble L. Ok. Bien. Les... Um, les voy a, a copiar esto así como está y no han tomado la the screenshot se los voy a enviar no, esto quiero ok Uh -huh. Y les voy a enviar un ejercicio. Here it is. Okay. There you have the, the the screenshot with the notes. No, uh, an exercise now here. There is an exercise here. Well, aquí está lo que hablamos, no? Small, smaller than. Yeah, adjective, er, than. Acá está lo que les mencionaba. A esta se los voy a enviar también, aunque se ve un poco, un poco borrosa, pero tal vez la logran ver. Oh, excuse me, not sharing the screen. Esta otra, vean, acá está explicado también. You see adjectives with one syllable. We only add ER or R. Cold, colder. Adjective with two syllables that end in Y. No, happy. Solo cambiamos Y for I. Le agregamos ER. Expensive, more or less. Aquí no aparece less. Y el big está lo la duplicar. Now, there are some adjectives that are irregular adjectives. Aquí hay algunos. Son irregular porque son totalmente diferentes. Por ejemplo, voy a escribir acá porque se ve un poco borroso. 
Let me change the color. For example, the adjective good. The comparative for good is better. No es gooder, ¿verdad? Is better. The comparative for bad is um, worse. Worse. ¿De dónde sale eso? Bueno, son irregulares por completo. Son muy diferentes. The comparative for far is farther. ¿Ya? Farther o further. Y ustedes pueden investigar, hay algunos cuantos más. ¿Ya? Estos son los que se llaman irregular comparative adjectives, porque son totalmente distintos. No decimos good, gooder, bad, badder, far, farer. No, es totalmente distinto. Good, better, bad, worse, far, farther or further. Ok. Bien, entonces luego tenemos, here I have an, an exercise to practice. No. Ok. Look at this. Number one, I am taller than my sister with that. Adjective, tall. I am taller than my sister. No, tienen que recordar aquí que le van a agregar el, ver, el verbo to be y el than, que siempre, siempre lo, van a llevar, lo va a llevar. ¿Ok? Porque está comparando dos cosas. Más que. ¿no? I am taller than. Yo soy más alto que my sister. Ok. Bien. Les voy a enviar esta imagen para que hagan el ejercicio. And I'm going to put you in small groups to work. How many are we right now? Okay, 14. Five groups. Okay, please take the invitation for the small groups and work. The exercise is in WhatsApp already. You can watch the picture there and write the sentences correctly in your notebooks. Vayan a los grupos, vayan a los grupos. Teacher. Hola, hola, ¿qué pasó? Uh, the same problem for yesterday. Really? Yeah, yeah. Kicks you out? Yes. Solo yo, solo yo aparecí en el grupo. No, oh, ahí está Sergio ahorita. Ahí está Sergio ahorita si y gusta. Karen. Ajá. Ajá. Me manda la invitación nuevamente. Supuestamente ahí la tenés, porque aquí me apareces en el grupo. Me parece, porque aquí estoy en la reunión normal. Sí. Pero no me aparece. Bueno, vamos a... Vamos a 
Vamos a ver si caes en el mismo porque... No, aquí te movió. Esperate, te voy a... Vale, ahora... Sigo aquí. No me llega la invitación. Supuestamente te debe de llegar. Te voy a enviar a otro. Karen, Karen, no puedes entrar al grupo. Vale. Hello, teacher. I have a problem with my internet. Ajá, ¿qué pasa? No te deja entrar. No, maybe the signal is very bad in this moment. Okay. Bueno, si no se quedan ustedes dos trabajando aquí. Okay. You and William. Voy a mover a... Ah, se fue. Se fue. <risa> Mira, solo le dije que iba a trabajar, trabajar conmigo. <risa> ¿Qué pasó, hombre? Y ahí está. Bueno, ya está con Sergio. Y a ti te muevo. Se supone que al moverte te debe de caerla. Ahí, no te cae. No, eso es lo que me, me voy a salir y voy a volver a ingresar. Probemos porque sí. Bucier. Con I E R al final. Sí, Sara is busier than Mary. It's your. Y la tercera es Horer. Sí, Horer. Vaya, vamos a ver si ahora. Ahora sí me llegó. Voy a. Ok. Voy ahí. Healthy. That. That. Hamburger. Hamburger. Ham, sí, hamburger. Hamburger. Correcto. Hmm. Healthy. Healthier. Healthier. Hel Healthier. Yes. Healthy. So I think we can. En, o sea que se le agrega ER, ¿no? Se le cambia la Y por I. No es more healthy. Mm -mm. So, solo, ajá, solo ese sería el cambio de la I por la Y. La Y se le cambia la I latina. Ajá, por una I y se le agrega ER. I, I think we can... 
El quinto igual, elephant. Um, aquí es R. Ah, no, es R, es. Sí, es R porque, porque está hablando, elephant, está hablando en plural. Uh -huh, de, Sería R. Uh, ah, perdón, en plural. Sí. Uh -huh. Seis. Action movie. Art también, ¿no? Sería, ¿En cuál? Action movie sería... ¿En el sex? Mm, ¿En el sex? Action movies. Habla uh, de movies. Yes, are. Are very exciting. Sí. Siete. Sí, sería art. The restaurant is. Ajá. Is. Is. Salads. No hemos hecho la 8, ¿cómo no? Salads es R, ¿verdad? R, R, ajá. La 13. Cars. Esta creo que solo se le agrega. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Good evening, teacher. Hello. En la 13, ¿verdad que es faster? Se le agrega nada más, ¿verdad? Yes. R. Mm -hmm. R. Yes. Faster than bicycles. Y la 14. Comedies are. Esa también se le agrega. No, ¿verdad? Are se more. cambia. Moon. No, que la luna. Elefante Big, Elefante Big Horse. Comparado uh, con Big, B-I-G. Big, W. Uh -huh. Entonces fue de lo que puso de ejemplo. Uh -huh. Big. Big o Bigger. Ah, no, Bigger es grande, ¿va? Big es grande. Uh -huh, porque uh, Big es, es el... grande. Uh -huh. El elephant is bigger than. Big. O is bigger. Bigger. Es, es más grande.
Oh, okay, welcome back. Let's check your work quickly. Number one, I am taller than my sister. Volunteer for number two. Sarah mm -hmm. is more busy than Marie. Mary. Mm -hmm. Mary. Not really, not really, Karina. It's only I-E-R. Sarah is busier. Busier. Than Mary. Yeah, Sarah is busier than Mar Mary. Okay, but thanks, Karina. No problem. Okay, Karina, pass the ball, please, to someone else. Karen. Karen. Where's Karen? Okay, number three. Karen. The sun is more. Karen, Karen. Can you hear me, teacher? Yes, yes, we can hear you. The sun is more hotter than the hair. More hotter. Hotter. Uh, only hotter. No. Only hotter. Yes. Don't use more. The sun is hotter than the earth. Okay, Karen, pass the ball. Okay. William, teacher. William, four, number five. Number four. Oh, four. four, oh yeah, I'm sorry, four. Okay, the earth is larger than the moon. Yes, correct. Pass it. Stephanie. Okay, Stephanie. Uh, elephants are bigger than horses. Yes, good. Next, please, Stephanie, pass it. Rafael. Rafael. Uh -huh. Number five. six. Six. I Action movies are more existing than comedy. Yes, good. Action movies are more exciting than comedy. Exciting. Okay, people, we have to stop here. We don't have more time to continue. And please remember to complete the platform exercises, okay? Have a good sure. night. Okay. Good night, hey. Good night. Nice weekend. Nice weekend. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you. Good night. Bye bye, everyone. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you. Take care. You okay.